solved it. From attempted and reset and to reputation expected. rescue. Did that hurt? No one cares if the Prime Minister's feelings hurt, and, and, and I understand that. It doesn't matter. Scott Morrison on the defensive over a possible insider attack on his character. There's still someone there trying to do you in. I really don't care, Ali, what people in who want to anonymously throw this stuff around. I mean, the journalist who raised it is facing his own questions. Network 10 claims to have obtained a text message between former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian and a current Cabinet Minister, in which Ms Berejiklian allegedly calls the PM a horrible, horrible person and the Minister describes him as a complete psycho. Prime Minister, you said you're sure that that Minister in the leaked text messages isn't sitting in your Cabinet. What makes you sure? I have confidence. The deputy PM, not so sure. I would suggest that if you know anything about this, don't wait to be outed. Out yourself and give an explanation. The supposed texts were exchanged two years ago at the height of the bushfire crisis and sharp criticism of the Prime Minister's Hawaiian holiday. Ms Berejiklian, who's had her differences with Mr Morrison over the years, says she has no recollection of the text exchange, nor did Network 10 name the minister. Well, these are extraordinary text messages uh, from the people who know Scott Morrison the best. I think yesterday was a dark day for the media and politics generally in this country. Ms Berejiklian's successor concedes he's not always seen eye to eye with Scott Morrison, but... To have news now reported from unsubstantiated text messages uh, I think is terrible. The Prime Minister can't complain too loudly, given he or his office leaked the private text messages of French President Emmanuel Macron last year. But the Cabinet Minister closest to Gladys Berejiklian, Foreign Minister Maurice Payne, said she was not the leaker, nor would she use such language and questioned whether the texts were indeed genuine. In any case, this episode has unsettled the government at a time when it's desperate to talk about other things. I'm focused on keeping Australia's economy strong, keeping Australians safe. Voters wanting a government focused on them, not itself. Andrew Proven, ABC News, Canberra.